So now I'm going to use something called the polygonal pen tool. In order to do that, first of all, I'm going to change from the standard layout on to the model layout. In the old version of Cinema 4D, you might view this as modeling layout. So once I do that, I'm going to make sure that my enable snap and work based snap is turned on. That enables me to work on the grid points exactly. So after I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my polygonal pen tool right here. And here you can see that the snap actually works out. So now how you work out is just click here, click here, click here, click here, and click here. And then a face has been made just like that. Let me press space bar and there you go. There is my polygonal object. So if I were to go over here onto the perspective view, you can see that a polygonal model is made. So I can actually go back over here, add in more points by using the polygonal pen. So I can, I can click over here, click here, click here, click here, and click here. And there you go. There's another face added onto it. So you can add in as much, as much details as you want, just like that. So you can go to the uh, selection tool now and select the points. And you can see that they are joined up just like that. There you go. That's how you use a polygonal pen tool right here. Let me just go, press Ctrl Z. Let me go back over here and show you something else regarding the polygonal pen tool. So if I were to go over here and if I'm on my S mode, what I can do is I can hold Ctrl and Shift and it'll create something like an arc right here. So I have to be in S mode for this. So I'm going to go for edges right here. So there you go on the edges. So just select the S, Ctrl, Shift. And then you can see that you can increase and decrease the subdivision and that creates something like an arc. So let me just show you on this side. You can see that something like an arc can be made by using the pen tool. So that is not working out quite well. So I'm just going to hold the arc just like this. Control, shift. And if we were to move the mouse, I'm not dragging the mouse, I'm just moving the mouse and click it. You can see that an arc has been made. I can do the same with this one as well. So I can go to the S right here, just the S. So select the S and if I were to click it and there you go, there's some points added in here. So there's smaller arcs right there. Let me just add in from another perspective from over here, control shift and there you go. You can add in arcs just like that. So that's one thing you can do with the pen tool and um, the polygonal pen tool. What you can also do is now you can select the faces and extrude them out. So if I were to press D and uh, hold control, drag it up, you can see that a building like structure is made just like that. That's how uh, polygonal pen tool actually helps ease down the modeling process just like that. Now what else I can do is I can also use different options inside a polygonal tool. For example, right now it's set to edges as you can see. I can work directly with points. I can also directly work, work with polygons and draw polygons. So I can go over here and now what I can do is I can start drawing the polygons right over here just like that as you can see. So let's say you want to make something like a pattern. Let me just de delete this out. You want to make something like a pattern. You can use the polygonal pen tool. And over here, you can see that it's on draw mode on polygons, just like that. And now what you can do is you can create some interesting patterns just like that. There you go. And then you can just pull out different sorts right here, drag out other patterns as you wish. And there you go. Just like that, you have a pattern just like that. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool. Let me just uh, select all of it, just like that. So I'm just going to select all of the faces over here. Uh, just go over here, with a rectangular selection so I can select all of it. I can go to D and I can extrude this out. So I can extrude the shape out just like that. And I can add it in a subdivision over here. There you go. And there is a smooth model that I can actually work with. So I can go over here on to my live selection tool and there you go. This is how you can actually create patterns over there as well. So you can go to the object mode and there you go. So you can move this around, there you go. So you can see that it is quite easy to actually model out things by using the polygonal pen tool techniques. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.